GC9 VKB. Who is that? Kilo Charlie 9 Victor. Kilo Victor. Okay, Kilo Charlie 9 something Victor, whatever. Go ahead. Roger, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor, Kilo Victor. Uh, uh, W8DFW, uh, uh, did I hear you correctly? I was copying the mail. You said you put 70 miles on your bike in two hours? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you got the call right. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a lot of miles in two hours uh, because I was riding in, in metropolitan areas, you know, stop and go traffic and all that. I did get on a couple of freeways, though. Roger, Roger. You mean you average 35 miles an hour? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because again, stop and go traffic. You know, in uh, in the cities, I I don't know where you're at, but I was in Warren and Niles and Youngstown and Howland and <laughs> all, all around. I try to stay on main main roads that were traveled well because. You know, there's uh, chemicals on the road, and uh, not not a whole lot yesterday, which was good. And I don't like them uh, dusty chemicals blowing up into the motorcycle. Oh, I thought you were on a bicycle. No, Honda Goldwing. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, my God, I do uh, two hours uh, every morning, and all I can do is about uh, seven miles around a. Uh, up a uh, lake in a, on a pedway, uh, Roger. <laughs> well, I wish I could do uh, average of 35 miles an hour on a bicycle. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd be skinny <laughs> and dead, too. Roger, yeah, this is uh, Jim up around Louisville. Uh, kilo Charlie 9 Victor, Kilo Victor. Yeah, we ride a bike uh, every morning about two hours between 8 and 10. Uh, in a park uh, on a pedway around a lake, and the lake is just, well, the pedway is just a little over a mile. And uh, so we do uh, try to, uh, you know, either two hours, uh, seven miles, or till the uh, lady in the radio says low voltage on our bowfang. We got a little uh, bowfang on a, ped on a pedestal on the handlebars. Yeah, very good, very good. Well, there's uh, several of us around here that are hams and, and ride motorcycles and there's uh, probably about four of us that all have gold wings and we have dual band radios on them uh, I have a uh, couple a couple of us have ICOM 2720s on them and uh, a couple other guys are running the bowfangs and uh, that, that's uh, that's how we catch up with one another we get on the bikes and we get on a UHF frequency and we just chat back and forth while we're riding along Oh, Roger. That. Uh, what's the name up that way? Uh, name uh, here is Ray, Jim. Roger, Ray. Uh, yeah, I uh, have a real nice antenna. It's um, it's got three load coils. Stands about seven and a half feet. It uh, is a Siamese to the pedestal that the radio's on, through uh, gorilla tape and uh, tie wraps. And uh, with that antenna, we can hit uh, 18 repeaters off the pedway there. Uh, it uh, gives us three and a half dB gain on VHF and six dB gain on UHF. Roger. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you're in a you're a big metropolitan area. There are a lot of repeaters around. We got quite a few around here too, but like most everywhere, they're not uh, not as active as they used to be many years ago. There's too many other other things that take up uh, a person's time. Well, anyway, Jim, we uh, we get on this frequency every morning at eight thirty. There's another group on here before us, and uh, they get off and we get on, and that's been going on for quite a few years there. I'm in northeast Ohio, just outside of Warren, Ohio, a little north of Youngstown, and I'm about 10 miles from Pennsylvania and about 45 miles south of Lake Erie. WD8DFW, Dallas, Fort Worth. Roger, Roger, sir. Well, I'm just, um, you know, just copying the mail there, and I heard uh, <laughs> 70 miles, <laughs> I covered 70 miles in two hours on the bike, and I'm thinking, my God, he must be training for the Olympics or something. Well, I don't know if you saw a report. I saw a report not too long ago. It might have been on 60 Minutes, where these uh, these guys in the, well, not the Olympics, but uh, whatever the heck they call that thing over in France, 
They got miniature motorized electric motors on their bikes. Did you see that or know about that? No, I didn't catch that. Yeah, some guy in uh, I think it was Hungary. I watched or uh, invented this little tiny DC motor, and they're they're cheating is what they're doing. And I think they give them a burst of power for about 20 minutes, and they got them built inside the frame somehow. And, and now they got another one that's built in the hub of the real tire, the rear tire. And uh, I don't know how they activate them or whatever, but uh, I guess there's quite a few of them using them now, and they're pretty hard to detect. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> small little motor, uh, 20, 20 minutes of power there, extra power. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, that wouldn't be uh, illegal for uh, competition, I'm sure. Yeah, it is, but they seem to uh, they seem to let it go. Uh, they're hard to detect. They were talking about weighing the bikes or have to tear them apart or something like that. I don't know. Kind of crazy, though. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I've got a couple things I want to do. The XYL is probably up out there drinking coffee and go say good morning to her. And uh, after around in the mornings, uh, we're like I said, we're here every morning about eight thirty. So I'll listen, listen out there, Jim. Have a, have a great day, and uh, <laughs> thanks for thinking I was some kind of Superman. WDATFW. Roger, Roger, Ray. Three is away. Enjoy your bike. <laughs> Catch you later. KC9VKV. We clear.